Tesla started deliveries of the Model Y in Europe in August, and within just a week, it happened to be the best-selling vehicle in Norway. Tesla Model Y conquered Norway by pushing electric sales to 72% market share, which is insane. Norway is also a country that is pushing a lot more EV sales, and there are reports that electric car sales had 64% of the market share in the country just during the month of August 2021. So what updates are we looking at with the Tesla Model Y moving forward? Well, today, let's discuss just that. Hello there, and welcome back to our channel. If you're a fan of Tesla's innovations and want to see more about Tesla and electric vehicles, subscribe to us as we make videos on these topics twice a week. Turn on the post notifications so that you never miss out on any of our future uploads. Drop a like for the video if you're a huge fan of the Tesla Model Y. With all that done, let's get started. The Tesla Model Y happens to be the newest EV from Tesla, and it continues to grow in popularity because of the ever-growing compact crossover SUV market. And there is a lot of competition in this segment from gasoline cars, but not so much with electric cars. The Model Y shares the same platform as the Model 3, but there is a slight change in dimensions and the overall look of the car. The Model Y does not come with Falcon wing doors, which is something that the Model X is famous for. The production of the Tesla Model Y began in December 2019 at Tesla's Fremont factory, and delivery started by March 2020. Tesla Model Y will also be produced at Tesla's two new gigafactories, both in Berlin and Texas. During the making of this video, both of these gigafactories are still under construction, and Tesla is looking for a global expansion. In early 2020, Tesla revealed that it would be producing and selling its new Model Y in the Chinese market. And by December 2020, the production of the Model Y commenced at Giga Shanghai. Model Y looks somewhat similar to the elder brother, the Model X, when it comes to size and overall proportions. But there are a lot more similarities with the Model 3. So you could say that the Model Y is a combination of both the Model X and the Model 3. The Tesla Model Y was the very first Tesla to feature a heat pump to provide electric resistance for interior cabin heat and also for battery preconditioning. Ever since then, the heat pump has been very neatly integrated into other Teslas. The Tesla Model Y, just like every other Tesla, comes in different variants, and we have both variants with a dual-motor, all-wheel drive configuration. The first variant has to be the long-range model, and the second one has to be the performance model, and both the trims get their power from a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack. When you look at the range, the long-range Model Y can do 326 miles on a single charge, with a top speed of 135 miles per hour. We're also looking at a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of just 4.8 seconds. If you're all about performance, then the Model Y's performance model is something that you need to consider, but it does offer a slightly lesser range of 303 miles on a single charge. But this particular performance version can do a top speed of 155 miles per hour and can do 0 to 60 in just 3.5 seconds, which is impressive for a crossover SUV. Tesla will also be replacing at least 300 robots, which means that the efficiency is through the roof when it comes to production. We can also expect Tesla Model Y's body to be much lighter in terms of weight, and it might also end up with a much more robust structure. With the Model Y, you can also expect improvement in the overall driving dynamics of the vehicle. So yes, this casting process will change everything for the Model Y. But one thing we're not sure about will be the price of the Model Y. There are chances that the price will remain the same because it will then be a lot more profitable for Tesla to sell the Model Y. The Tesla team has already tested the Unibody Press at Giga Texas, and the company plans to utilize it when the factory starts its operations later this year. The other significant change apart from the use of Giga Press for the production of the Model Y has to be the integration of the newly announced 4680 cells, which were announced way back in September 2020 during the Battery Day event by Tesla. So, the newer Model Y is also expected to replace the older 2170 cells with the 4680 cells, and these new cells will improve the battery range per charge. We're also looking at a huge reduction in price per kilowatt hour and a significant increase in battery range between charges. These new cells will also be integrated with the car's structure, which means that we are looking at 170 fewer components per car, making it 10% lighter. 
Keep in mind that Tesla has never used these cells in a production car yet, and Musk explained that he has got a backup plan to use the same cells that Tesla is currently using today in case things don't work out. When it comes to pricing, the Tesla Model Y Long Range will be available for $53,990, and the Model Y Performance model will be available for $60,990 before tax savings. Europeans might end up getting the Model Y much cheaper once production starts in Giga Berlin. Musk stated that the goal of Tesla has always been to make cars closer to buyers, to make them easier to build and deliver. The Tesla Model 3, a vehicle that the Model Y is based on, has demonstrated that an electric vehicle can not only sell all over the world, but also outsell gas-powered vehicles. Tesla established a facility in China at record speed to make more Model 3 since the Model 3 has been so successful. Some have remarked that the Model 3 sedans built at Tesla's new production in China are superior to those produced at the aging Fremont facility. Tesla is also working on a much improved self-driving software update as soon as possible, because Elon Musk is not happy about the new full self-driving beta version 9.2. So, to sum things up, the Model Y provides SUV owners with a commanding perspective of the road they desire, as well as more space for their family, pets, and baggage. It maintains a class-leading range while delivering a performance that only sports vehicles at this price can match. Its technology is cutting-edge and growing, but it's still simple to use. The Tesla Model Y is a fantastic crossover that's also a great electric vehicle. It successfully expands on the Model 3 sedan styling, range, technology, and value while adding new functionality for buyers who prefer the look, space, and capabilities of an SUV. The trend of people owning SUVs started with the Land Cruisers, Nissan Patrol, and Pajeros, but now it looks like the highest selling segment is the crossover SUV segment, which is why the Tesla Model Y is a very important vehicle for Tesla. For most people, it's all about practicality, so they choose a crossover SUV instead of a sedan. And the Model Y is an excellent choice when it comes to practicality. There is enough headroom and knee room, and there is a lot of space with the Model Y in general, which makes it extremely practical to carry people around and also carry a lot more luggage. The Model S and the Model X do have a lot more luxury features, but the Model Y is the most refined vehicle that Tesla has to offer, and it does really well at the price point that it sells, considering the fact that it packs in a lot more performance than the competition. The Model Y is Tesla's attempt to get to its goal of accelerating the transition to sustainable energy. Tesla might also be working on a much more affordable Tesla, which might end up being called the Model 2, and we're looking at their price tag of just $25,000. There's no official news about it yet, but Elon Musk gave us a hint about an affordable Tesla during the Battery Day event in September 2020. With that, we have come to an end with our video. What do you think about the new updates to the Tesla Model Y? Will there be any decrease in prices with the Tesla Model Y because of how these cars are manufactured? Do let us know in the comments section below because we would love to hear from you all. Consider subscribing to our channel for more content just like this, and while you're at it, turn on post notifications so that you never miss out on any of our future uploads. That's about it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you all in the next one.